Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Um, today we will discuss about theorem 3, which is also related to theorem number 2 in a sense. Because um, we would have central angles also, okay? And also the chord, uh, the arcs. In theorem number 3, chords, it is stated there that chords that subtense congruent central angles are congruent. So what do you mean by that? Ito lang yan. If um, you will disregard this um, arc, okay, you will disregard the arc here. Disregard, disregard. What we will be taking would be if we connect the dots or the inter this ano, points in the circumference, this arc AB, if we connect the points A and point B, we will create a straight line, right? So I hope you would agree with me on that. If we have this point at C and point D, if we will connect those two points, we will create another line. And again, by definition, the line that we will create is called a chord. It's called a chord. So, in this theorem, it is stated that if these chords are congruent, kung sila ay parehas, okay, kung sila ay equal, kung sila ay magkatumbas, if they are the same, say this is 6 and this is 6, then therefore, we can assume that the arc, I mean the angles, the central angles, are also congruent. Okay, again, let's write it down, let's write it down, let's write it down. If, zoom in a little bit, if segment CD is congruent to segment AB, then, R, eh, then angle pala, angle AOB is congruent to angle COD. Okay, or it could go the other way around. So we could say that if we have, if we have angle AOB is congruent to angle COD, then segment CD is congruent to segment AB. We can say that they are the same. Okay. So for example, I would be giving you say um say this is um 45 degrees. Okay. And this is say another 45 degrees, meaning they are congruent. If this is seven. Then, what do you think is the measure of segment CD? Then, segment CD is, of course, 7 as well. Ganun lang yun. This would be the, exa the exact example of this one. Okay? Or, it could go the other way around. Say, um, if this is, say, um, 9 centimeters, this segment CD is 9 centimeters, and this segment BAB is also 9 centimeters. Then, if I will ask you, if this is, say, um, 38 degrees. What do you think is the measure of this other angle? Without knowing this symbol, yan. Wala, walang symbol na yan. You can say that this is also 38 degrees. Then again, we are talking about congruence. Okay, no more bisection but just congruence. If the two lines are congruent, the two chords are congruent, then we can assume that the angles inside are also congruent. And they are not just any angle. They are called central angles. Okay? And that would be on theorem number 3. It's similar to theorem number 2, wherein if the arcs are congruent, then the angles are also congruent. Say, if these two are congruent, say this is say, um, let's uh, measure the arcs using uh, um, distance. Okay, say this is 8 centimeters. This is also 8 centimeters, this arc. Then, if this is 25 degrees, then this is also 25 degrees. Okay? So, we are again talking about congruence. If one part is congruent, then the other part is also congruent. Then, we are, ano, we are talking about two parts only here. Central angles here. Central angles. Central angles and arcs. And in this case, we are only talking about seg chords. Chords and angles. Okay, chords and angles. And to be specific, central angle pala. Okay, so that would be theorem number 3. And it's a spe specific example. Take note, the specific example is just simply the measurement of the given parts. Again, we are, this is a little bit wrong in proving theorems or in defining theorems. But when you are giving example, okay, malina nagbibigay na example. Um, and you will use this example as proof, okay? But this is this is the application already. 
Okay, the proof again will be provided to you guys on a separate video. Okay, so let's have another given using this one so that you will further understand this one. Actually, paulit ulit lang pa eh. Paulit ulit lang. So we have, say, um, this circle. The center is here. Then we have this, and then we have this line. Kasi you will notice you're already creating a small triangle, right? Then we have the central angle, and then we have also this one. Yan. Okay? So this angle is, say, 60 degrees, and this is angle, no, not 60, it's too big. This angle is 20 degrees, and this angle is also 20 degrees. If this is 7, then what is this? This is 7 as well. Ganun lang. I could, not, I could not put it in a simpler way. That would be it. Okay? So, I hope that you got our um, concept for theorem number 3. If you have any other questions, just kindly chat me po. Um, or uh, review the video. If you have... Um, if that would be it, everyone. So, thank you for listening. Napakadali lang. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you po.